Hey, hi guys. Hey, hi. Hi. Hey, hey guys. Hi. Hey. Ooh, ha. Hi. So I know what you're thinking. Wow. How can one girl look so good with so many baby hairs? With her hair looking so amazing. How, how does she do it? How does she do it? And I know what else you're thinking. Wow. How did her voice become just like so incredibly attractive? Well, you wanna know how I did it? <laughs> I got sick. I know to a lot of you, that might not be a big deal. That might be like, oh, okay, she's sick, she's congested, she got a cough, whatever, who cares? Nobody cares. Yeah, okay, whatever. So what? Well, I care. You wanna know why? Because it's been a year and a half since I've been sick. A year and a half. Forgive my incredibly terrible nail polish, but come on guys, a year and a half since I've been sick. You wanna know how I did that? How I went a year and a half without being sick? I cut out dairy. I cut it out. I stopped eating milk from the gods. Okay guys, yes, I know there's no such thing as the gods. It's just God, okay? That's just the saying. No need to jump down my throat. But when I used to have my period, all the time, I would get chocolate milk and I would get salt and vinegar chips. Okay, my favorite food was fettuccine alfredo, sushi with cream cheese, and I love mac and cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. <sighs> so, forgive my dismay when after a year and a half of not having a lick of dairy, well, no, that's not that's not incredibly true, but staying away from it as much as possible, unless I was having pizza. But then, even still, I I took a lot of cheese off my pizza. <laughs> a year and a half. That's a long time to not have dairy. To say no to ice cream. To only have sorbet and popsicles. Okay, don't get me wrong. Sorbet and popsicles are great, but they don't come in cookies and cream. They don't come. And cookies and cream. I love cookies and cream. That's my favorite. <laughs> Where was I? Oh yes, how miserable my life is. So I have a cough. Normally a cough wouldn't be that bad, but nine months ago, I broke my ribs. Okay. <laughs> broke them in half and then misplaced them. Three of them. Right in my back. Not only have I been coughing, I've also been sneezing. So that also hurts my ribs. But every time I sneeze, just snot just flows. It's like it's like a fountain from my nose. Okay, okay, okay. You guys want to know where I got sick? I got sick from camp. I love camp. I'm working on editing my my footage that I took at camp. Okay, guys. Oh. Hold on. This is not normal. I don't know how to act like a normal human being with tissues in my nose. Let me put this in perspective, okay? After a year and a half of not being sick, my body is probably like, hey, let's hit her with a monsoon, okay? Not only will she be congested, will she have coughing and sneezing, a sore throat, fatigue. She will also get her period 10 days early. 10 days! The whole period thing didn't come until the day after I got back from camp, which I was grateful for because the entire ride home from camp, 12 hours from Tennessee to Florida, 12 hours of driving, I was miserable because I was congested. We were going up and down in the mountains. Okay, we're going up and down in the mountains, so my congestion is just giving me the worst headache. My jaw, my TMJ is acting up. My, my, my ribs are hurting because I can't, can't go like this, so I have to go like this. I have to change seats with a girl. I feel bad because I'm kicking her out of her seat, being like, hey, let's change some seats because I'm a mother. Anyway, so I'm sick. I really hate it. Yet another way that my body is just failing me. It's great. Ugh. Yeah, I'm really sorry for this lighting. The lighting is awful in here. It's like, where are you with the night of the crime and the death and the murder and the blood? I, I don't know. <coughs> Oh, so yeah, I got sick the last full day of camp. Started with a horrible sore throat, and then it turned into um, the next day, I woke up with a bunch of congestion and a cough. <coughs> that was the entire day, driving 12 hours, getting home, 
and then, like, it hadn't even been a full, it only been like 18 days since my last cycle ended. <laughs> what is my life? Not only am I just physically exhausted because I was hiking in the mountains and I am not physically used to that, but I'm also sick, which I'm not used to because I haven't been sick in a year and a half. But then on top of that, I get a period which I just had like 18 days ago. But let me say, I'm very grateful to the Lord that he stayed my period until after the trip home. Because if I had had this congestion with a period in the mountains, I probably would have died or fainted or just complained the entire time, which might have been what I did. I don't remember. So I went to the doctor today because I was convinced that there was probably something that could cure me. Nope, I've got a virus. Pretty much what it's gonna be for me is the next week or so, I'm going to still be contagious. If people touch me, they could be me. That's awful, terrible. I've got this thing that I will not go anywhere around people unless it's like to the supermarket or Walmart or something, if I am sick. When I have kids, Never, never am I taking them anywhere if they're sick. I don't understand people who take children to church if they're sick. Okay, I just think it's ex extremely rude to everybody else around you. Even if you're an adult and you're sick, I think it's rude to just, that's my opinion, okay? If you're gonna do that, that's your prerogative. I will never do that with my kids or with myself. And hopefully my husband will follow suit because I think that that is the mature thing to do. To all of those who I know, who uh, probably ended up with me getting sick, I forgive you, I still love you, and yeah. So I talked to my doctor, he said I'll be contagious for a week, and this cough will not be going away anytime soon. And so I'm just like, okay, it's only been three days and my ribs are killing me, so how is three weeks gonna work? Since it's a virus, the guy's not gonna prescribe me anything because he's like, well, you just kind of need to let it run its course. I'm like, hey, that's, that's great. Can you just give me something to knock me out for the next three weeks so I don't have to deal with this excruciating pain in my back that I'm going to have because my ribs are just going to be like dying for three weeks straight? I'm, uh, I'm currently working on all the footage that I took at said camp that I got so incredibly sick at. <coughs> three hours of footage. I took three hours of footage. I have worked on that video at, for probably at least three hours already today. And I've only knocked out 45 minutes of three hours. Uh, because I just, I love all the footage I took. I think it's really funny. It just may end up being a really long video. You guys might not like it. I don't really care. I'm excited to post it because it's with my kids. I love my kids. I haven't really been really involved in their lives in the last nine months, which has killed me because I haven't been able to be there for them. And to be there for them this past week is just such a blessing to me. And I was able to, to learn from some of the talks that happened and everything. <coughs> I'm dying. I'm seriously, I think I'm dying. Uh. But seriously, guys, I just, if you're my youthies and you're watching this, this week meant a lot to me. I know I got horribly sick, and I know I'm making it into this huge dramatic thing, but to have it to do it over again, I'd do it again. Even if I knew I was gonna get sick. Because I love you guys. You mean the world to me. And I'm gonna try to make this video from camp just the, the coolest camp video ever on the planet. Because you guys deserve it. And you've had a hard year. I've had a hard year. We've all had a hard year. So I know this video uh, started out really fun and happy-go-lucky, just like bashing on being sick and then it turned into this emotional thing. But to all my youthies that were at camp, those who couldn't make it, I want to apologize to you guys that I couldn't be there for you the last nine months. It killed me, especially hearing what you guys have been through the last year, knowing that I couldn't be there for you. And I know it's not my fault. I know that in my head, but with my own insecurities, I still feel it so deeply. And I'm praying for you all, and I want you to keep praying for me. Anybody watching this video, please pray for me. I'm physically drained. I'm emotionally drained, and I need spiritual uplifting. I need community. I need you all. I'd like to say that I can do this on my own. That's what I would like to happen but that's not natural. It's not how God created us to be. Comment down below if you're 
one of my youthies watching this video. That would be great to know if you guys saw this. Or comment down below if, if you know how I feel, if you think it's extremely frustrating when you get sick or if other people bring sick people around. But yeah, that's, that's it for today. If you liked me going from funny to a little bit vulnerable to just extremely vulnerable and you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. <coughs> wow, I cannot do that when I'm this sick. Getting that high-pitched sound isn't gonna work with this gravelly voice. Nah. And if you wanna become part of this watered-down tribe, I would love you to join us. Just go down below and punch that red subscribe button. Jingle that little bell so you'll be notified every time I post every Tuesday and Friday of 2018. I'd love to get you to know you guys, so please connect with me over my social medias. I will see you on the flip side. I love you so much. Bye. Goodbye, cruel world. Well, goodbye, cruel world. Goodbye, cruel world.